All right, my paint pouring friends, today we are going to review the My Paints 24 acrylic paint set. Now, I'm always looking for a the cheapest way for us to do amazing acrylic pours. This paint actually price-wise is in the realm of craft paint. However, it looks like it's much better than craft paint. So I'm hopeful that this is gonna be a great deal for people starting out with acrylic paint pouring. All right, first things first, we're gonna mix up a purple and an orange and see how these mix. Wow, those are very, very thick. I like that a lot actually. So we'll start with the purple. Wow, that mixed really fast. And it is really dark. I'm hoping that's because they're highly pig pigmented. So just to verify that, I'm gonna put a little bit of white in here. Wow, that blue was, look how powerful that blue was compared to the red. Well, the tinting strike to the blue is great. So far I like how the colors are turning out. Let's try these two. Nice and vibrant, pretty easy to mix. Takes a little bit longer than some of the more professional ones, but not bad at all. All right, so now we're gonna test 10 grams of glue, 10 grams of liquor tricks, 10 grams of Floetol. Each one of these have five grams of paint, so two to one ratio. This is 10 times Floetol, so this is 50 grams of Floetol, five grams of paint. And as a comparison, we're gonna do the closest blue that I have, this navy marine blue, 50 grams of Floetrol to five grams of paint and see what the difference in when we're thinning the paint that much, how the color changes. So first, let's mix with the glue. Not surprising, it mixed quickly and still has a nice, nice color to it. So glue, easy mix. Liquitex, took a couple seconds, it all integrated. I don't have any lumps. Still got some nice color. Perfect. Looks good. Floetrol. Again, nice mix, nice color. Relatively quick. Now let's try the Floetrol 10 to one. And this paint is a heavy body paint. So you might wanna mix a little bit first and then mix the rest. Um, heavy body paints tend to um, take a while to integrate if you, if you try and do it a ton, right, it, right with a, or a, a little bit of paint with a lot of pouring medium. Sometimes it doesn't mix very well. This one seemed to mix pretty good though. A nice consistency for 10 to one. And as expected, we lost a little bit of color, um, kind of similar to many of the other paints that we did we used. Again, the Floetrol has a little bit of white tint to it, so it always lightens the paint up. I'll have to put them head to head. You can see that these two that have a little bit of Floetrol and glue have a little bit of white to them, aren't as quite as dark as the Liquitex, but overall not bad. So now let's try the Craft Smart, also 10 to one. This is much thinner, so I shouldn't have near as much of a problem. So again, with those colors, just to show, I'm gonna pop, pop a little bit of, a little bit of the main color down on the right there. A little bit of the main color. 
and kind of see the differences, the differences in color. So they mix pretty well, can't complain about that. So as I mentioned, the price of this, 24, so 48, 48 ounces of paint, ultimately was about $32 a piece, so it's about 70 cents per ounce, which is very close to what craft paints are. So if this is any better than craft paints, then it, it could be a potential alternative. And we'll see, I think the determining factor is gonna see, gonna be how that paint pours. So next, let's get our paints mixed for a pour and do that comparison. All right, so here's the colors I've chosen to do my pour with. So it's thalo green, thalosin green, mid yellow, magenta red, and titanium white. I did do a consistency check and added some more water to these three so they were the same as the pink. One thing I did also is I um, put all the colors together and then torched and I got a ton of little cells from the white for the torch. So I'm interested to see how that is going to work. Another thing that I did is I compared the straight phthalo blue to the 10 to one Floetrol and then the straight craft paint, this craft uh, navy blue and then the 10 to one. And as you can see, both of them, this one starts out great, but it doesn't have a lot of tinting strength. So you really don't wanna thin this down very much. But the initial color was way better than the navy blue this has a little white in it which i would expect it to even be uh, to cover better and not be able to see that line so it the paint is definitely better than craft paint i don't know that it's as good as uh, a regular acrylic paint like uh, liquitex or amsterdam or something like that but for the price it is way better than craft paint i would rather have this than craft paint so now let's do our pour i have an eight by eight canvas so i need uh, three three and a half ounces of paint. I have an ounce of each of these, so I'll have plenty of paint. And we are gonna do a straight pour, maybe a little bit of tree ring uh, like I normally do, so let's get to it. And one thing I don't want is the green mixed with the pink, so we're gonna make sure we... I'm just gonna do half. We're gonna make sure we layer a little bit of white there first. And as you can see, the white is making the smallest layer in here. That means the white is sinking and it's the thickest of, or the most dense of these paints. The other colors seem to be about, about even, so. See, like I mentioned, the white the white has the thinnest line here, which means it's sinking the most, which means it's the most dense. And then probably the green is the next most dense. So, interesting that. So let's do our pour. Definitely gonna have plenty of paint here. So, so far those colors are nice and bright. Got some good color separation so far. So let's see how it tilts. Do another quick. So 
I'm gonna give this a minute and we'll come back and take a close up. All right, so let's go in for a close up here. So we did get some nice color separation, not quite as good as some of the other paints, but definitely better than craft paint. Uh, one thing I do like about this is the white actually didn't break up like it does in some of the lower quality paints. Uh, even some of the lower quality student level acrylics, it broke up. So I didn't get any of that. I would recommend leaving your paint a little bit thicker with these paints as you're gonna get a better painting with that. I'm not sure how well they would work for say a Dutch pour, but to be, um, these are probably medium, medium thin consistency. So um, a more medium consistency mound or mound upon a mound, I think would work a lot better. Uh, I did get some colors that mixed here. I, you know, you're definitely gonna get that with a green and a pink. I was hoping the white would separate them a little bit more, but it didn't. But overall, I would definitely give this a better grade than a craft paint. Uh, not quite as good as a normal student level acrylic, but for the cost, 70 cents an ounce. If you wanna get a bunch of nice colors that we have here from our pack and do a lot of testing for a relatively cheap price, uh, you can't go wrong here.